Through two uh, games, Jerry Judy, new uh, Browns receiver, eight catches, and he has 98 yards, also um, a touchdown catch, um, 14 targets. So there looks to be a little bit of chemistry between he and Deshaun Watson in the open field as well. Have, have you noticed that? Yeah, especially yesterday. I think that was, I remember we were talking about in the preseason that one of the questions was how Deshaun Watson's going to establish chemistry with Jerry Judy. And so far, it's been pretty seamless. I mean, Judy caught the only touchdown pass that Deshaun Watson's thrown that was all the way back in week one in Dallas. But yesterday, you know, he made a lot of key plays. He had that great tip catch along the sideline to convert a second and 20. You know, he had that third down crossing route. Everybody talks about that scramble throw that Watson made for five yards. That doesn't happen if Jerry Judy doesn't make that crossing pattern catch for a first down. And you see, and what we've seen in these two games is what made Jerry Judy a first round talent out of Alabama. He's pretty fast and he's got some, he's got some pretty good hands. You know, with you know, Lamari Cooper struggling the first two games of the season with David and Joku dealing with his ankle injury, it's been good for the Browns and that, that Jerry Judy has stepped up and played as well as he has so far. It's been a bright spot. And you would imagine as the season continues to go on, maybe Jerry Judy gets a little more involvement in this offense as he continues to get more familiarity with his quarterback and Ken Dorsey's system. No reason that this combination shouldn't continue to do as well as it has. And to see Judy have 73 yards yesterday, that's such a great sign for you know where this offense can go going forward.